Hi y'all, welcome back to Pleasant Valley Farms. Are you excited? Because I know that most of you saw my stories on IG yesterday that the goats are finally here. <laughs> I'm talking really low because Jose is sleeping in the next room. But listen, listen, I had to do an intro because I don't want y'all judging me. I lost it a little bit. I did, I did, I, lo I lost it a little bit. I talked to myself a whole lot. I cried a little bit. I did freak out a whole lot. I was talking to Jerry. I was fighting with Jerry. No judgment, okay? Absolutely none. Or you can't watch the video. Just turn it off now. <laughs> but I wish that I had had a little bit of experience because it did seem like she was in labor. After I thought about it for a while, I kind of realized that she'd been in labor for a while before I noticed that. I don't know if I was just doubting or I just didn't know what to look for. Although I did know what to look for. I was just scared maybe. But uh, yeah, she was, she was in labor for a while before I realized it or before it hit me. I don't think it actually really hit me till after the babies were there safe and up. But okay. so. I got up and I put Jerry on the milk stand. Kira. Had to get Kira's toy away from her. Um, I got Jerry on the milk stand and um, I was messing with her teats just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much because I wanted to make sure that Sparkles was eating. So. I just put her on the milk stand and I saw the babies moving and I read that if you still see them you still feel them then they're not um, close to coming at all so I didn't I didn't think by the video that they were gonna come um, yesterday um, so I put her back I did feel her teeth and her teeth felt the same her udder still felt the, felt the same but when I went outside I was watching our security camera and I saw her outside and it was raining all day. It was raining and she was outside and goats normally hate rain. They hate, they hate rain. So I thought that that was a little strange. Very, very strange actually. Cause all the other goats were inside. I could see them from the other camera that she was inside. And I could see that Jerry was outside from another camera that we have. So I went outside and when I saw her, she was soaked. Y'all, goats don't like rain. So I thought something was funny. I got on the phone with my um, friend, Jean, and I talked to her about it. She said, just put her away. Just lock her up, put her away. I didn't want to because she wasn't going to go into labor. I didn't, want to, I didn't want her to be locked up. So I bit the bullet. I locked her up. And as soon as I locked her up, things progressed mm -hmm. so fast. Things progressed so fast. Um, I started to see her contractions. Contractions a lot stronger and I saw her start to push and I saw her start to be posty so when they're having a contraction they'll kind of like post their legs kind of stand taller and they'll stiffen up and their tail will um, get erected or tighten up I don't know um, but I hadn't noticed that before although now that I think about it and now that I go back and I watch the little videos that I post on IG she was doing it I was just in denial. I was just in denial. So, listen. As soon as I put her in the stall, it just, it was going from there. It was probably like 30 minutes till she had her baby. I didn't think it would happen. I did not think it would happen, but it happened. She did all the things. And now that I think about it, I notice it but but in the moment i did not i did not even the even when you see that she was pushing even when you see that she was pushing i still didn't think that they would come today but <laughs> they came they came they came and they're healthy and they're alive and they're good they're good the boy was a little questionable and you'll see another video on that another time but to watch the burr to watch her have her kids. Keep watching, let's just get right into it. I was watching her on the security camera and 
um, I was reading stuff, instructions on like the medicine and the vitamins and the vitamin B that I'm supposed to give everything if things go bad. And I was watching her on the camera and I could see her pushing. So I'm out here now. How you doing, sweetie? How you doing, sweetie? Yeah. She has been getting up every time I come in here. She gets up and she, you know, wants to be aware of what's going on. So she gets up and she looks to see who's coming. And uh, when I walked in, she didn't get up to see who's coming. So she's getting closer. I'm gonna go inside and get a bench so that I can sit in here with her. I found a bench. And I'm pretty sure she's having contraction. Contraction right now. Oh, poor thing. I think that's her pushing. Oh my god. You pushing, honey? Are you pushing? Okay. Oh, I think she's pushing. And I think she's in a lot of pain. Oh my gosh. go get some stuff together I've got my kitten kit here um, and I'm gonna bring that in to her stall and I'm gonna I'm pretty sure she's not having three kids so I'm gonna put one of these towels on the bench that I found because it's a little wet I've got gloves I've got my GoPro molasses for her baby bottle baby colostrum um, this is to give her some energy electrolytes in case both of them need it lube in case I need to go in there. And this is for the baby in case they have diarrhea. One of these things to get mucus out of there. Vitamin B for either her or him if there's you know, troubles. But things seem to be going good with her. And the towels are to dry off the baby. This bag here, which is just a feed bag. I'm going to put the placenta in there. Um, I'm going to grab this stuff and bring it over there with her. Because... We might be, you know, an hour away or four, five, seven hours. Yeah, she, she's having another one. Another contraction right now. Oh. She's pushing. done for now I went inside and I was hanging out with her um, but she seemed uncomfortable that I was in there it was very tight I don't know why I thought that we'd both be in there comfortably but 
it was very tight so I decided to move my bench and come back out this way um, she didn't get any help last year last year with labor so she doesn't need any help this year um, this is mostly me wanting to be in here and uh, wanting to help her but she definitely doesn't need it Something's coming out. The little bubble. Oh my god, we're so close. Oh my goodness. See anything yet? She's been pushing. Does not look like two hooves. Oh my gosh, that does not look like two hooves. <sighs> I need to keep it together.
doesn't look like two hooves. When she pushes, you might be able to see that it's like a whole little solid thing. It does not look like two little hooves. There it is. It, it, it does not look like two hooves. Jerry, you got it, baby. You got it. Yes, baby. All right, you got it. I don't think that she. I don't think she likes me talking to her. Okay, Jerry. Push, Jerry. Push. Yes, Jerry, you're so close. Yeah. Yep. Yes, Jerry. I <gasps> Jerry. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to do. I gotta put the camera down. Okay. Okay, Jerry. Yeah. Get your baby, sweetie. Get the baby. Come on, get, honey. Gotta get the baby. Get the baby, honey. Come on. Get the baby. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Push. Oh yeah. Yeah, honey. Come on. Lick your baby. Oh no. Come on. Lick your baby. All right. Okay, I. I'm okay. Jerry, get the nose, baby. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Come on, Jerry. Can you lick its nose, baby? Can you lick its nose? Come on, sweetie. Lick the nose, mama. Please? Honey, I don't know what to do. You gotta lick the nose. And get help it breathe, Jerry. Come on. Help it breathe, Jerry. Are you breathing? Jerry, come on. Help you breathe, Jerry. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Jerry, but I don't think she's breathing, honey. And you're having another one, aren't you? baby I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing um but it's okay I'm gonna work it out I'm gonna make it work are they breathing Jerry are they breathing can they breathe mommy I don't know okay yeah Siri? Hey Siri? Hey Siri? 
Call Jose on speaker. Calling Jose Ariaga. Mobile on speaker. <laughs> Please leave your message no. for eight on, six zero seven one. Hi. Uh, We've got babies. Uh, We've got babies. Two. One, two. 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 She pushed them out. She pushed them out. She wasn't licking them, so I had to. I had to uh, um try to help. Not um. <laughs> I had to, um... <laughs> oh, we got a spotted one. Yeah. Are they boys? I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Put the phone down. Oh, no, wait. Take, take care of uh, Take what? Yeah. <laughs> She's not licking the other one. What happened? She's not licking the other one. Come on, babe. Wipe it down. Huh? I am Wipe wiping it down. it down, but um, I want her to lick it. <laughs> she pushed the other one right out. Like seconds after. Honey, can you get the other one, please? What happened? Oh, I'm trying to tell her to get the other one. Okay. You gotta lick the other one, babe. Come on. I don't wanna, I don't know if I'm supposed to take the other one, the one she's licking now away. Come on, lick this one. Pull the other one away. You think so? All right, I guess I'll pull the other one away and dry it off myself. Okay. Okay. You started to lick the other one now, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this one's trying to stand up on its own already. They, I, I didn't um, really focus on it. I just pulled them off of her. I pulled the cut the umbilical cord. Well, if if it just comes off on its own, then it's fine. I think. <laughs> Two babies. <laughs> I don't think there's a third one in there. I hope there isn't one, a third one. Oh, yeah, tie your baby. Good girl, good mama. A dough and a buck. <laughs> oh my gosh. A boy and a girl.
sini. Now that things have calmed down a bit, this one right here, this is a girl. Mom's not too happy about me picking her up. This is our girl, and then this is our little boy. So cute, so small, so small. Look at my hand, so tiny. Little dude, are you tiny? You get any milk already? Yes, you did, and so did a little doe over here. And mom's a little bit of a mess back there. Look at all oh, that blood. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, you know, give her some time, and then I'm gonna move her out. Okay, and I'm gonna clean this this little area up tonight. Trying to get some milk. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit later, but things are going great. Gonna dip their little umbilical cords in some iodine soon and um, put a piece of dental floss on it so that nothing can get in there and go up and infect them. They're trying to get on there. But every time I try to help, it's just, I think I scare them. So they end up backing off, but she's trying. Mom's just got some really small teeth. Are you playing, little guy? Oh, little girl. Are you jumping around? Looks like the boy might have, might have got something. Yeah, he got it. Carl's over here. Trying to get something, but she's so far.
Alright, we've got to get those umbilical cords dipped. Gotta go get my stuff. Here's the girl. She's trying to do some milking, but she can't find the teat. We tied off her umbilical cord and put some iodine on it. Now we're gonna do the little boy. Boy. Baby, we don't have any more dental floss, do we? <laughs> do you want to tie this one? Both got their umbilical cords dipped. Thank you. <laughs> Two beautiful babies. She's getting them cleaned up. This is a boy. And we've got a girl. And just a few minutes ago, she um, dropped her placenta. We picked it up, put it in a bag, and put it away because I read that they can choke on it. And it really doesn't benefit them. So I went ahead and I got rid of it. Everyone else is in the background just playing, fighting. <laughs> Thank you for watching, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time with these guys and then I might put another video up soon on them playing around, me milking mom. I can't wait. Are you such a good girl? <laughs> mom wants her baby back, so. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Like this video, because of course it was amazing. And subscribe. <laughs> Till next time, y'all.